My name is John Abrahams, and thanks for tuning in to my presentation for the Speech Communications 100 class at the University of Maryland University campus. That was a short little excerpt of a song I wrote a few years ago on a guitar that I actually made myself. And that's part of the reason I'd like to talk to you and introduce myself here. It's diversity in life that I'm talking about, hence its plans that I have for the future. Now, I was born 54 trips around the sun ago in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I lived there in a culturally diverse area. I moved to Boston for a few years, and I moved to the Washington suburbs back in about 1964 to a place called Rockville, Maryland, all-American city, many years in a row, off and on. I lived here for a few years before moving to Ellicott City when I first got married, and then I moved back against the advice of a rock band called R.E.M., when they said, don't go back to Rockville but I did. It's worked out fairly well for me, thank you. I live here in a single family home with my second wife and off and on with various kids. I've got twin sons, uh, one that just graduated from University of Maryland is now at the City University of New York, one that will graduate this spring, and uh, a daughter who graduated from UMBC and lives in Atlanta, and last but not least a stepdaughter who is going to the University of Maryland as a music major. Um, I started work in humble surroundings as a caddy for a golf course when I was almost the same size as the golf bags and uh, stepped into a busboy position at Hot Shops in Rockville. From there I finally got into technical background and I started at SolarX Corporation making solar cells. I went to Hakimian Laboratories where I made modems back in the really early days. Fusion Systems made high power supplies for ultraviolet exposure systems and uh, let's see after that Allied Signal Aerospace turned into Honeywell which I was involved in a lot of projects for government and industry where I was also put on some scientific papers which was a big asset. Honeywell went to a optical startup called Kodian Corporation and I went to NASA Goddard Space Flight Center when the optical crash came. From NASA I was brought into University of Maryland where I now teach at the Nano Center Fab Lab where we actually teach students how to process uh, not only electronic devices but microelectrical systems and um, biological systems also. So, with that, I've got an education which includes an associate degree in music, professional contrabass was my instrument of choice, and I almost got a degree in electronic engineering from Montgomery College, but at the end I decided I knew more than I needed and hit the road and got work. So, my lesson in life is to teach people not to follow their wild trails, but to actually perform the tasks that they need to do and get out in life and don't struggle the way I did. The reason I'm taking this course again is to teach me how to better myself in presentation and in communication. Now, the other half of my life, which is variety, is, is the spice of my life, is the music background or the artistic side. So I've got my science and the art. My art is music and I've got that associate's degree on bass, I've been in orchestras, I've been in bands, rock bands, country bands, disco bands, top 40 bands, jazz bands, all kinds of different ones. And I've really enjoyed the diversity in music. And I can combine the, the technical aspects, aspects of music with the technical aspects of electronics and science. I love to go to lectures. I love to go to concerts. I enjoy a classical guitar concert. Uh, I much prefer a finger style acoustic guitar play, concert, much like the guitar that I play, but I play bass in the bands, and right now I play in a band called Misspent Youth, which was not my name, but it fits in well with uh, my past record. I write my own songs, and I've got 40 songs copywritten, copyrighted, pardon me, and I recorded most of those songs. One big goal and one uh, prime thing that I'd like to do is to get those songs into a professional recording studio pay the money and get somebody who really knows what they're doing to record those songs uh, and have them come out the way I really want them to sound. Uh, that takes special training. I've tried for many years but have been unsuccessful. I would like to trust that to somebody that has the experience and could teach me how to do it but along the way have a very good final product at the same time. So with, uh, with that I'm coming to the conclusion of my narration here. I would like to stress the diversity of life is what really makes things worthwhile for me. It, every aspect complements the other and uh, my goals are to become more educated, to become a better communicator, to enjoy the, uh, 
the widespread joys that life can give. My name is John Abrahams. If you want to talk to me, I can be found at the class or at an email, and I can tell you that self. So you be well, behave, have fun, and thank you very much. Goodbye for the time being.